So I want to try to tackle the subject of tank size today. And just briefly, <laughs> this is a pretty controversial topic, so I was kind of dreading doing this video, but I think that it's really important and it needs to be addressed. So, you know, there's a lot of different opinions on stocking goldfish and how many you should have in a tank and what, you know, how many gallons per fish, all those sort of things. I'm going to just talk about the most basic guidelines there are and, um, you know, you can use your own judgment beyond that. So I'll just let you guys know that I just did a 80% water change. So the water in my tank's a little bit cloudy right now just because of the buffer I use. It usually clears up in like a half hour to an hour. So just if you're wondering why um, the tank looks a little cloudy and weird, that's why. So tank size, um, the most basic, general, easiest um, stocking guideline there is, is 10 gallons per fish. And I don't think in liters, I think in gallons, unfortunately. So I'll put um, some conversions down below the video so that you guys can look at that in case you do, in case you do liters instead of gallons. Um, but 10 gallons per fish, and I think that's about um, 40 liters. So that's that's the most general basic. That's usually what I tell people because it's the easiest basic guideline there is. But if you follow that guideline, just know that you will probably you will have to upgrade your tank at some point. That is not a forever lifelong guideline because if you think about a single tail fish like a comet, they can grow up to 12 inches long. A 10 gallon tank is only about 20 inches long and 10 inches wide. So putting a 12 inch fish in that really, you know, isn't good for their entire adult life. You would want to upgrade at that point. But if you're talking about little, you know, one, two, three inch goldfish, 10 gallons per fish is a pretty, you know, general good rule. If you want to get into a little bit more ideal stocking, um, guidelines for fancies like you know arandas or telescope eye fish um, uh, pearl scales that sort of thing uh, 20 gallons for the first fish and then 10 gallons for each fish after that is usually recommended so if you had two fancy fish you would want um, at least 30 gallons if you had three you would want 40 gallons um, so that's the general guideline for the fancy breeds. For the single tails, like comets um, and common goldfish, they require a little bit more room because they do grow larger than the fancy varieties. The fancy varieties at um, adult size are usually, typically, are around six to eight inches. Some grow bigger, um, but that's the general size. Uh, for the single-tailed fish, like comets and commons, they tend to get a little bit bigger, so they can range between, you know, 10 and 14 inches long. They're also um, stronger swimmers, so they'll need more room for that. So for the single-tailed varieties, the, you know, ideal basic stocking recommendation is 20 gallons per fish. So if you had two single-tailed fish, 40 gallons would be ideal. And again, that's just for when they're younger. Um, as they grow older, you would probably need to upgrade the tank size. Um, you know, these two are fancies, and they are in a 40-gallon tank, and it is, you know, I wouldn't even think of adding another fish to this tank. So why can't we just keep goldfish in a bowl? <laughs> that's the big question. Um, so the first reason is that they do, when provided room, they grow very big. Um, if they're not provided adequate tank size, the theory is that they produce a growth inhibiting hormone that stops their bodies from growing. So that's why you'll see um, goldfish who have lived in tanks for several years, but they're not 12 inches long. They're still, you know, two or three inches long and that's because their growth has become stunted. 
there, I tried to look up some research on this, and it looks like there is some actual research that shows that this does happen, but I am not a biology major, so the research, you know, reading it was a little bit beyond me. So if any of you guys watching know the logistics of all this, feel free to enlighten me. I've tried to research it a lot online, and it seems like there's a lot of different a lot of different theories on it so it seems like it's you know a slightly controversial topic but so this is the basic theory is that they produce a growth inhibiting hormone stops their bodies from growing um, some people claim that their internal organs continue to grow and so it leads to premature death I don't know if this is absolutely true or not um, just from the evidence that you see of goldfish living in bowls for years who never grow it makes sense. So that's all I can say on that. Um, if you keep your goldfish in a bowl, it's going to get stunted. It won't grow like it should, and it won't, um, you know, live to its full potential. So the second reason that you want a gold, um, that you want a big tank size, is that goldfish produce a lot of waste. So we can use this image as just a basic, um, you know, way of explaining this. So if this tank here is a 10 gallon, this is a bowl, and this is a 20 gallon tank, you'll see that, um, and the little red dots represent how much waste or ammonia is created by the fish within, you know, we'll say 24 hours. So you'll see in the bowl, within 24 hours, that water has become incredibly toxic to the fish. That can be fatal. Um, in the 10 gallon tank, a lot of waste has accumulated, but it's not as bad as the bowl. And if you look at the 20 gallon tank, that's gonna be the best water quality for your fish. So the amount of water volume that you have in the tank is going to make a big difference in how fast your water goes toxic and how you know, fast that waste accumulates in your tank. So I think that's all I'm going to talk about today. If you guys have questions or if you want me to, um, you know, try to explain anything in more detail, let me know. Um, if you have suggestions, please let me know. Um, put it in the comments and thanks so much for watching.